Hello. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, good morning. This is the Philippine Union from Kenya Yoga Los Angeles. Welcome to the Deep Straight and Restore Yoga. So we're going to start with three one on the Anani Black. So I'm going to set up my poster at the back then. You can Take your blocks. Make sure you have two blankets, two blocks, no booster, no strap today. And place a block, two blocks underneath your booster. So one block in the medium height, one block in the lowest height. Toward each other. Then place the booster on top of your blocks. Mm -hmm. Take one of your blankets, fold it in two and place it on top of your poster. And as you lay down, bring the lower back, just allow the lower back to touch the bolster. Bring the soles of the feet toward each other. Open your knees up to both sides and release your tailbone. So you place the feet on the ground, lift your hips up, release your tailbone and Bring the soles of the feet toward each other and open your knees out to the sides. Or you can keep your knees bent and place the soles of the feet on the floor. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up over your head. Feel very nice, soft to stretch. Maybe you hook your thumbs, maybe you interlace the fingers. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, lower your arms down and allow your palms to rest over your belly. So bring the palms on top of your belly and start to breathe in through the belly. Allow the belly to rise up like a balloon. Exhale, in through your belly. Feeling the dantian with your breath. Allowing the breath to reach up to your heart, to your shoulders, all the way up to the crown of your head. Exhale out of your nose. So inhale through your belly, allow your belly to rise up like a balloon. If your knees are open to the side or the knees are bent and the soles of the feet on the palm. So allow the belly to rise up like a balloon. Exhale, drop your belly to the spine. Circulate that energy all the way up to your heart, to your shoulders, to your chest. Inhale, breathe. And exhale this time, all the way down into your belly. One more time, inhale through your belly. And exhale into your belly. Start to sense your feet. Notice the soles of the feet. Be aware of your shins, your calves, your knees, top of the thighs, back of the thighs. Sense your back. Starting from the lower back, notice your lower back, the base of your spine, the middle back, 
Give me this one. So one vertebrae at a time. Make your breath. Start to sense the upper back. The shoulders, the arms. Just breathe in. And breathe. Then release your palms towards your thighs and start to just bring your knee, bring your palms towards your outer knees and help yourself to bring the knees back to the center. Open your feet wide. So place the soles of the feet toward the outer edge of your mat. Turn your palms up and start to reach your right through your legs from side to side. Giving very nice gentle massage for your feet. Just dropping your feet from side to side. Breathing in and breathing out. Then walk your feet in and drop your legs to one direction. Roll over to your right side, place the left palm on the ground and help yourself to lift up and come all the way up to sit. Hello everyone, good morning, happy Friday. You take your blanket and place it underneath your seat bone. Cross your ankles, right over the left. Place the palms over your thighs. Gently sit up tall. Then bring the palms together into your heart, gathering your whole energy into your heart, connecting to the divine center of yourself, being one with, with yourself, and set your intention for your practice today, asking yourself, what is your intention, what you need to receive, and what you want to release. Maybe asking for health, for wellness. Maybe asking for something else. Just being present, connecting to your inner self. Inhale, take a nice, smooth breath. And as we exhale, ah, Then gently open your eyes, release your palms. Start to sweep your arms all the way out and up, reach up to Bring the palms together, seal your palms. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your palms into your heart center. One more time, inhale, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceilings, palms seal. Exhale, open your arms wide and lower your arms all the way down. Then move my blanket and my bolster. Let's put it on side. Then inhale, sweep your arms all the way out and up, reach up tall. As you exhale this time, lower the right palm towards the floor or toward the block. You can take your block and place it underneath your palm and stretch your whole body towards the right. Maybe you bend your elbow and place the forearm on top of your palm. Turn your gaze towards the left armpit. Just breathe in. And as you exhale, come back to the center. Reach your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. See your palms. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your palms into your heart. One more time, inhale. Sweep your arms all the way out and up. Reach up tall, seal your palm. As you exhale, lower the left palm toward the floor. Place it on the ground or on the block. I can take the block to this side, this time. And bend your elbow. Stretch the whole right side of your wrist. Just breathe in, turn your wrist toward the right armpit. Exhale, come back to the center. Reach your left arm all the way up toward the ceiling, seal your palms. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your palms into your heart. Then lower your palms toward your thighs, bring your knees to the center, turn your legs to one direction, and very gently turn your right thumb on your hands and feet. So you can take the blocks underneath you on each side of your mat. Come on your hands and knees and take your bolster, place it at the top of your mat. 
So palms on the ground. Shoulders directly over your wrists and hips directly over your knees. Release the crown of the head down to the earth and start to swing your hips from side to side. If you have any tension in your hips, in your back, so just breathe in, swing your hips to one direction and breathe out to the opposite direction. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Then start to swing your hips from side to side and circle your hips around. So inhale back to the right, exhale forward to the left. Inhale back to the right, exhale forward to the left. One more inhale back to the right, exhale and to the left. Then gently switch circle to the opposite direction. So this time, as you inhale, chest forward and to the left, exhale back and to the right. Inhale forward to the left, exhale back and to the right. Inhale forward to the left, exhale back and to the right. Then come back to the center, no circle, no more circle. As you inhale, pull your chest forward and up, come to flat back, cow pose. Exhale, round out. Hug your belly to the spine, release the crown of the head to the top. Inhale, chest pulls forward and up. Exhale, round. Hug your belly to the spine, release the crown of the head to the top. One more inhale. Chest pulls forward and up. Legs around your back. Hug your belly to the spine, release the crown of the head to the foot. Last round, inhale, chest pulls forward and up. And as you exhale around your back, release the crown of the head to the floor. Try to push your hips. I mean, pull your hips back. Bring your big toes toward each other. Separate your knees. You can come a little bit forward on top of your blanket and pull the bolster toward you. Lower the forearms to the ground and allow the whole upper body to rest on top of your bolster. Just breathe in and breathe out. You can turn your head to one direction. To the right or to the left. And allow your whole upper body to rest, release toward the bolster. And at the same time, notice your forearms. Be aware of your palms. And open fingers in your palms. Bring your awareness toward the right thumb. Right index finger. Right middle finger. Right ring finger and your right pinky finger. Then move your awareness toward the left palm. Sense your left thumb, left index finger, left middle finger, left ring finger, and your left pinky finger. So the first concept in the deep, straight, and restored is the breath. And as you are resting on your bolster, just be aware of your breath and sense the movement of the breath, breathing in through your nose and exhale out of your nostrils.
definitely, if your cheek is resting on one direction, just turn your head to the center. Lift your head, lift your chest, and come all the way up to sit. Release the posture out of your way. Just turn around and come back on your seat. And cross the opposite ankle over this time. Press the left ankle over the right. Place the palms over your thighs. We're gonna start to do very gentle spine circle. As you inhale forward to the right, exhale back to the left. Start to circle your spine around your pelvis. Just moving, warming your spine, activating that root energy in your body. So lean back to the left, forward, and to the right. Inhale back to the left, forward, right, back, left, forward. So at the same time, you are activating the upper body. As you are learning, the energy is moving through the root. All the way with the hips and your legs, and vice versa, it's going up with the spine. And I notice the outer edge of your feet, notice the shin bones and the calf muscles. Then gently come back to the center as you complete your circle. Come back to the center. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. See your palm, look up, maybe touch. As you exhale, twist your body toward the left. Place the left palm behind you, lower the right palm toward your thigh. And notice if your back is leaning back, if you are leaning back, just come back to the center. Push your left palm to the ground, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, please your upper body toward the left. So twisting postures are very beneficial for the internal organs to detox, to twist the body. Inhale, breathe. And as you exhale, come back to the center. Reach both hands up over your head, seal your palms. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower the palms into your heart. One more time like this, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and up, reach up tall, seal your palms. As you exhale, twist your body toward the right, place the right palm behind you, lower the left palm toward the thigh, toward the right palm, and inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist your body toward the right. Just breathe in and breathe. Then inhale, come back to the center, reach your eyes all the way up. Reach up tall, sink your palms. As you exhale this time, turn your palms forward and forward fold towards the foot. So maybe you take your block and place it underneath your forehead. Release the forehead towards the block and walk your hands forward, release all the way down. With the ground. See that forward fold. Maybe palms are resting on the floor. Deep stretch and restore this kind of knee practice. We hold the postures a little bit longer than natural, than the regular classes. Allow the stretch to go to the deep muscles, connective tissues, and the whole nervous system.
Walk your hands back. Very gently come back to sit. This time take your poster and, okay, leave the poster on the left side. Bring your knees to the center and turn your legs to one direction. So you're going to sit on your left side. Bring the poster toward you. Maybe you need the blanket, the second blanket, maybe not. So I'm going to place my blanket on top of the bolster. Place the palms on the ground. Inhale, lift your chest up. Twist your body toward the left. So notice the legs are twisting to the right, but the upper body will twist toward the left. Walk your hands forward and really all the way down toward the blanket. So I have my ear pods. So I can't release my head. I'm going to place my chin here. So you can turn your cheek to one direction, to the left or to the right, however your upper body and your neck feel comfortable. So as you are releasing the upper body towards the bolster, if there is a space gap in between the hip and the bolster, just go a little bit closer and allow the whole left side of your upper body to relax on the bolster on the support and maybe you will lengthen just stretch the right leg a little bit back or maybe you place another blanket in between your legs if you are placing another blanket you can just put it in between your legs like this and for some people if you feel the bolster is a little bit too much long, you can place a block and you can elevate yourself a little bit up. So in the restoration, you have to just figure out how the body feels comfortable. Until you find your stillness, your ground, ground of being. Inhale, take a nice smooth breath, and as you exhale, allow the breath to reach toward each nerve, tissue, muscle, and bone. The twisting postures are very beneficial to please the body, to release the anxiety. Because when we release the toxins, the blockades, we feel that comfortness in our inner self. Just breathe in and breathe out. Usually we hold each posture from three to five minutes or from five to seven minutes. It depends what kind of position we are taking or resting. And you can insert your palms underneath the bolster. Allowing more oxygen to reach toward each internal organ. As you inhale and as you exhale.
y So take your boosters to the right side and turn your legs to the left. Take your blanket back in between your legs as you inhale. Reach your arms all the way up to the sky, to the ceiling. Exhale, twist your body towards the right, place the palms on the floor, lengthen your spine. As we exhale, roll over toward the poster. And here you can just release your head. Oh. So just notice how the body resting and the breath is just deepening. How many minutes during the day? You have time for yourself. You have time for your self-love and your self-care. So this is kind of a self-care class because you are taking the time to love your soul, to love your spirit, to love your body, to love your breath and to connect into your inner self. As you are resting on the floor, on the bolster, just notice the props supporting you. Bring your awareness to, toward the all props supporting you. The blanket in between your legs the bolster underneath your chest. Notice your palms, where are they resting? Are they holding the bolster? Are they touching the floor? Just observe. And maybe you place your palm on top of your left shoulder and the other palm toward your head, giving yourself some self-love, self-breaking. Allowing thank you to flow with divine wisdom, love and light in your highest world. Ray means life force and Chi means the energy. It's the soul energy. And as you exhale, release your palms down. And start to push your palms to the ground, help yourself to lift up and come all the way up to sit. So from the supported twist pose, just moving toward the back bend. I'm going to suggest to open your blanket all the way on your mat. This one.
to have something soft. And just lay down on your back. Have your blood handy. Walk your feet forward and lay all the way down on your back. So make sure you have folded blanket bolstered at the block, close to you. Push your palms to the ground. So three times dynamic breath pose. Lifting the hips up, lower it down. Then lifting the arms and the hips up and lower it down. At the third time, we're gonna lift up a little bit, hold, then release. The fourth time, we're gonna support the back, the sacrum with the bolster or the block. Ready? Okay. So push your palms to the ground. You can grab the outer edge of your mat if you want. Push your feet to the floor. Inhale, lift your hips up, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up, breathe in. Exhale, roll all the way down, step by step with the floor. So this is the first round. Second round, inhale. Pull the edge of the mat with your palms. Lengthen your spine, lift the chest up. Lift the hips up, roll the shoulders back. So step by step, hips up, chest up, shoulders rolling down. Exhale, lower all the way down towards the floor. Third round, we're gonna a little bit hold. As you inhale, hold the outer edge of your mat, straighten your upper arms, root your feet to the ground, lift your hips up, lift the chest up, Roll the shoulders back, inhale, breathe, and hold the, the position, hold the position. So hold your breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale to the base of your throat. It's the Ujjayi Pranayama, and exhale all the way towards the base of the throat. So inhale through your nose, Exhale to the base of your throat. Sense that whisper sound at the base of your throat. Engaging your glutes at the same time. So feel your lower body and the upper body. You are at the bridge. Now as you exhale, lower step by step, upper back, middle back, lower back all the way down towards the floor. Inhale, and exhale. In the fourth round, we're gonna just support the sacrum with the block or the bolster, however you feel comfortable. As you inhale, root your feet to the earth, lift your hips up. So you can slide the bolster underneath your sacrum, the sacrum is below your lower back and up up your butt. And roll the shoulders all the way down. You turn your palms down or you turn your palms up. However you feel comfortable. Or instead of the bolster, you can place the block in the lowest part or the medium part. It depends on your comfortness. So I prefer the bolster because it's a little bit, you know, comfy and it's more proper for the restoration. From here, you can give any variation to your legs. So we're gonna start by reaching the arms, I mean, reaching the arms all the way up and over. Bend your elbows, grab the opposite elbow with your opposite palm. Then stretch the right leg all the way forward. It's one leg straight, one knee bent. Then the slide the right heel back. So this is the variation of the legs. Then inhale, straighten the left leg all the way forward. Keep your right knee bent. Exhale, slide the left heel back. One more time. Inhale, straighten the right leg all the way forward. Breathe in. Exhale, slide the right heel back. Place the foot on the ground. One more inhale, stretch the left leg all the way forward. 
exhale. Slide the left heel back and keep it to me. To release your palms and lower your arms all the way down to the floor. Then from here, lift the right leg all the way up with the ceiling. Turn your toes up, bend your knee, and pass the right ankle over the left back. So this is thread the needle, half thread the needle with in the big holes. If you want to just come to the full thread the needle, you place the palms to the ground first, then blow out the left thigh toward your chest. Release both feet. So these are flexion, these are extension. So in the restoration, you have to just relax the feet. Then interlace the fingers behind your left thigh. Maybe you straighten the left leg all the way up toward the ceiling. Maybe you give very gentle movement to your left foot, circling from side to side. Then bring it back to the center. And see if you can close your eyes. Push your right elbow toward the right thigh and pull the left thigh toward you. So there is rooting and rising and releasing and stretching at the same time. So you are pulling the left thigh and pushing the right thigh. And at the same time, you are rooting down to the ground and lifting the leg up toward the ceiling. It's root and rebound, or root and rise. Then you bend your knee, release your palm out of your left thigh, and lower the foot down to the ground. Bring your right knee back to the center, and lower the right foot down to the ground. Switch side. Lift your left leg up toward the ceiling, turn your toes up, bend your knee and cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Bring the palms over your thighs and push your thighs forward. So the, this is optional, the second part. You can stay here. You can open your arms like a tree or like a cactus. Or you can draw the right thigh toward you and reach your arms forward, interlace the fingers behind your right thigh. As you inhale, breathe. As you exhale, extend the right leg up toward the ceiling. Maybe a circle. Circle to the opposite way. You can't imagine how many benefits are there in the hip opener and the bridge pose at the same time. By lifting the chest up, you are opening the heart, opening the chest, allowing the energy to reverse upside down. And by lifting the leg, you are just reversing the energy upside down and allowing more energy to reach toward the heart, toward the hips, toward the chest. Gently rebend your right knee, release the palms out of your thigh, lower the right foot down to the ground. You can stay here a little bit longer if you want. You can place the palms on the floor. Just roll the shoulders back, allow the upper arms, your shoulders to release completely toward the floor. But connect your breath with yourself. Don't allow the breath to just release unconsciously. So breathe in consciously through your nostrils. And breathe out consciously to the base of the foot. Then bring your left knee back to the center. 
and this time hold the top of your left cheek, straighten the right leg all the way forward, be very nice, squeeze through the left thigh, breathe in, exhale, slide the right heel back and release the shin, lower the foot down, switch side, bend your right knee and hold the top of your shin, interlace the fingers, flex the right foot, extend the left leg all the way forward, just give nice extension to your sacrum, to the so as muscle. But this is so good for the lower back issue, for the sciatica nerve. Exhale, release your shin and slide the left heel back first, lower the right foot down second. Push your palms to the ground. So there is another option, third option is to lift the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. So coming to a supported shoulder stand. Then maybe you open your legs up to the both sides of the moon, stretching the hand is in the inner thighs. Exhale, bring the legs back to the center. One more time. Inhale, open your legs up to the side, point your toes out. Exhale back to the center. One more inhale. Open your legs out to both sides of the room. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your legs back to the center. Then from here, I'm going to give you last option. You can just roll all the way up and back. And support your back with your thumbs. Coming to Havasana. Maybe lift one leg up. Lower it down. Lift the left leg up. Lower it down. Then use your palms and step by step palm all the way up. Lift your legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, lower the foot. Bend your left knee, lower the foot. Then lift your hips up and just slide the bolster out of your sacrum. And reach your arms up over your head. Give very nice stretch to your arms and to the upper back. As you exhale this time, lower step by step, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, hips, release all the way. Walk your feet out and open your arms like a cactus or like a tea. And start to reach your back of your legs from side to side. As you inhale, drop your legs to the left, turn your head to the right. Exhale back to the center. Inhale, drop your legs to the right, turn your head to the left. Exhale back to the center. Then gently walk your feet in, hug your knees toward your chest. And you see the bolster is on your left side. You're going to drop your legs all the way on top of your bolster and turn your upper back with the upper body with the right side. Coming to a supine twist pose. So you can stay here or you can take the bolster in between your two legs like this. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more deep stretch with twist. Turn your head towards the right and twist your body towards the left. So the upper body, the head, is towards the right and the legs are towards the left. Thank you. 
and you can give any variation to your legs. For example, you can straighten your right leg all the way to the left side. Or you can just bend your, draw the right leg towards the right and hold the top of your right foot. Notice where is the points in your body needs a little bit of a stretch. Then release your palm, bring your knee back to the center and draw your legs back toward your chest. Feel very nice stretch. Lift your head up this time. Stretch your upper back and you bend your knees, hard your knees towards your chest. Let's uh, lower your head down, lower the upper back down. Release the feet down to the ground and take your bolster, place it toward the right side. Just switch. Then draw your knees towards your chest and as we exhale, drop your legs towards the right. And twist your upper body towards the left. Open your arms like a white key or like a cactus. Yes. And the second option is bring one leg underneath the bolster and the other leg on top of the bolster. So both are supine twist pose but in different variation. It depends on the length and the comfortness of your body. For some people, this is much comfortable and for some other people, by placing the legs on top of the booster is more comfortable. And you can give other variation to extend the top leg forward to the third right. And keep your upper body moving. Then maybe different variation to take the top of the foot and slide the left leg toward the left. Maybe you stretch the right arm all the way out and over the head. And as you inhale, start to breathe into your nose. Exhale to the right side of your waist, right side of your feet, towards the whole right side of your body. Then bend to your elbow back. Release the right foot and very gently slide the bolster out of your legs. Help yourself to bring the knees back to the center. Hug your shins, hug your knees. And this time wrap yourself from side to side. Giving nice self-love and self-massage to your back. Your middle back and your upper back. Then roll over to your right and reach your right arm up over your head. Maybe you bend your elbow, place the palm underneath your head and place the left palm on the floor. Take your time to reground yourself. Then when you feel ready, push your left palm to the ground and help yourself to move up and come all the way up. See. How are we doing, everyone? Okay. Now we're going to set up for the final restorative posture. So, for the final restorative pose, I'm going to 
place the blossom between the uh, in the middle of the mat and have my two blocks handy. So second blanket, second blanket is optional blanket. You can open it at the back of your mat or you can just you know without the blanket. You're gonna come and see it. So this is kind of supported back bend. We call it supported fish pose. So place the feet in between the block and the bolster. Sit at the top of your bolster. Then walk your hands back and maybe you walk a little bit back with your say with your sit bone and lay all the way down. So lower the forearms and lay all the way down on your mat. Notice the mid back is touching the short edge of the bolster. So the shoulders are completely on the floor. Then extend your legs all the way forward towards the blocks and release your arms like a T or like a cactus. So everybody, everything is soft and supported. Close your eyes at the, close the eyes, release the arms to the ground, release the shoulders down to the earth. If you feel any tension in your lower back, you can bend your knees and place the feet on the ground, like this. If you feel the bolster is a little bit too much for you, you can take folded blanket and place it underneath your middle back instead of the bolster. If your legs are extended all the way forward, keep your feet flexed. Allow the toes to point up to the sea. And bring your awareness toward the base of the throat. So we're gonna practice a little bit different breath awareness. You're gonna breathe through your nostrils, reach your breath up to the forehead. And as you exhale all the way down towards your heart. Then inhale through your heart, reach your breath up to the forehead. Exhale out of your nostrils. One more time. Inhale through your nose, reach your breath up to your forehead. Exhale all the way down into your heart. Then inhale to your heart, reach your breath up to your forehead. Exhale out of your nostrils. Activating that energy in your heart and in your whole upper body, chest, arms, Allow that energy to move into your arms, into your elbows, forearms, and all ten fingertips. Then gently bend your knees and release the feet down to the ground. Lower your arms all the way down to the floor this time. Lift your hips up like three poles and slide the bolster underneath your thighs. So slide the bolster horizontally underneath your thighs and release your upper back down to the ground. Slide the blocks with your feet, just transitioning from the supported fish pose into supported relaxation pose. And if you feel cold, you can cover yourself with a blanket, with extra blanket. Like, you know, you can take your blanket out of your head and place it over your body. 
So blankets are very flexible. And you can place an eye pillow over your eyes. I don't have it now, but you can place any towel or eye pillow over your eyes and bring your awareness towards the center of your forehead. Now, as I mentioned, each point in your body, you're gonna allow the energy to flow to that center, that point, very quickly, just moving from point to point, from energy center to another energy center. So from the crown of the head, all the way down towards the third eye, toward the base of the throat, heart center, navel center, pubic bone, up to the navel center, heart center, base of the throat, center of your forehead, crown of your head, back to the third eye, base of the throat, top of the right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist joint, right thumb finger, right index finger, right middle finger, right ring finger, and your right pinky finger, right wrist joint, right elbow joint, top of the right shoulder, base of the throat, top of the left shoulder, left elbow joint, left wrist joint, left thumb finger, left index finger, left middle finger, left ring finger, and your left pinky finger, left wrist joint, left elbow joint, top of the left shoulder, base of the throat, heart center, Navel center, pubic bone, right front of your bone, or right hip joint, right knee joint, right ankle joint, right big toe, right second toe, right third toe, and your right fourth toe, right ankle joint, right knee joint, right hip joint. Here we go. Left hip joint, left knee joint, left ankle joint, left big toe, left second toe, left third toe, left fourth toe, and your left pinky toe. Left ankle joint, left knee joint, left hip joint, here we go. Navel center. Heart center, base of the throat, center of your forehead, crown of your head. From the crown of the head all the way down to your tippy toes. Allow your whole body completely to relax, to release. Finding your Final destination. Moving to the final relaxation. May you repeat in yourself, I am in ease in each breath. In each exhale, I am in peace. Inhale. I am in peace. Exhale. I am in peace. And allow yourself completely to rest, release, and relax.
Shavasana. Final. Relaxation. While you are resting, I'm gonna read some mindful quotation. It says, when we procrastinate and distract ourselves with busyness, we avoid engaging with the real thing. Our lives, mindfulness helps us become really present so we respond wisely to a challenge and experience each moment as it unfolds. So just be grateful for whomever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. So this quotation is from Jalal al-Din Rumi. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Just welcome it and entertain them all. Even if they are a crowd of sorrows, sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door, laughing and invite them in. And be grateful for whomever comes. 
because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. In the next inhale, very gently bring yourself back. If you want to stay here a little bit longer, you can. Otherwise, just roll on one side. First of all, bend both knees towards your chest. Give yourself a very gentle hug. And roll over to your right side. Place the left palm on the floor and help yourself to come up to sit. Then close your eyes and bring the palms together into your heart. Feel that nice release and feel that nice recharge in your whole being. Just releasing the old and recharging yourself with new energy. Take a moment to thank yourself. Just being grateful for your breath, for your body and to the whole universe within you, surrounding you, for allowing you practice your mindfulness, your self-love, self-care, deep stretch and restore yoga today. Namaste. Inhale, lift your head up, release your palms, and open your eyes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Thank you for giving the time for yourself, and just joining me for this nice mindful practice. Namaste. Bye.